Living organisms have life processes. Organisms need to do these in order to be counted as being alive. These processes are movement, respiration, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion, and nutrition. Movement. All living organisms should be able to move. Respiration. This is the process in which living organisms get energy. Sensitivity. This is where living organisms can interact and detect changes in the environment using their senses. Growth. All living things grow. Reproduction. This is the process in which living things make more living things of the same type. Excretion. This is the process by which organisms get rid of waste. Nutrition. Living things take in and use food. A cell is the basic building block of all living organisms. They are very small and we need a microscope to see them. Some organisms are unicellular. This means that they only have one cell. For example, bacteria, protists and yeast. Some organisms are multicellular. This means that they have many cells. For example, animals and plants. Animals and plants are both multicellular, however, they have different types of cells. In animals and plants, similar cells form tissues. Similar tissues form organs. Different organs then interact to form systems. Different systems interact to form an organism. Let's look at some examples. Muscle cells work together to form muscle tissue. Muscle tissue then combine to form an organ. For example, the heart, the stomach or the liver. Different organs work together to make up systems. For example, the cardiovascular system, the muscular system, the digestive system, etc. Different systems in the body then make up the organism. Root hair cells work together to form root tissue. Root tissue then combine to form roots of the plant. These then make up the transport system. The transport system makes up part of a plant. So, the different systems work together to make up the plant.